there was a thing when I came to Hollywood called a casting couch that was real. You know, you didn't go in for a reading, you went into or whatever. That's how you got parts. Was there a reason Bill Cosby wasn't in Harlem Nights? Um, probably the money. And, and you wouldn't need a Bill Cosby in Harlem Nights. He wouldn't have fit it in Harlem Because I've seen pictures of him at the baseball game. Which was one of the, uh, uh, which they don't do no more. That was one of the best times. Mm. Harlem Nights against when we played to see these black men and women, the fun that they had, not only because of the production, that they all knew how hard it was to do that, to get it done. And so what we tend to forget, mm -hmm. it's like the animals, you have to separate the animal that you want to kill from the herd. You have to separate it. And when you separate it, then you can say what you want to it and it can feel like I'm the only one doing it, mm -hmm. you know? And, and for me, I look at Jed Clampett, he gives you the, the model. You look at George Clooney, we did uh, those three movies that where he used all of his friends. Okay, Will Smith, okay, Sam, okay, guy. Y'all can't come up with a movie where we can use all of these people together. Mm -hmm. And y'all do it, not them. See, when they do it, it's Black Panther, and they reap the benefits of it. But you are in a position, Will Smith, to say, hey, I reached out to Sam Jackson and Eddie Murphy and then, wow. You are really in that position, and of course Jed Clampett's going to make his money off of it. But you are in a position to make the lion's share, and all you have to do is say that to each other. That's all you have to do. And not, you don't even have to make it pro-black. You can say, George Clooney did it, we just doing that. And they don't do it. I mentioned Cosby because how his legacy is now kind of coming to an, a closing. He's in his 80s. The elders say this to us, brother. If you lay down with dogs, you're going to get the fleas, Mr. Cosby. So you're not surprised? At fucking all. Okay. As much as I love the brother, mm -hmm. it's like we can love each other, but you can't rape my daughter. Mm -hmm. I will cut your fucking head off. Mm -hmm. Was there anything like that he personally got too close with you? Uh, well, no, because he was, you know, um, one of my best moments around Mr. Cosby. I had a couple of moments around him. Mm -hmm. um, he grabbed my wife's ass. Mm -hmm. But she put her in a position, she, she put herself in that position for her ass to be grabbed also. Mm. Now my wife, before she was my wife, it did happen to her. Mm -hmm. So a lot of women at one time, they made themselves available. Mm. That's why those men did what they did. Mm -hmm. There was a thing when I came to Hollywood called a casting couch. That was real. Right. You know, you didn't go in for a reading, you went in to fuck or whatever. That's how you got parts. So at one time, Bill Cosby was that brother that just kicked it with the white boys. He was that brother. Uh, um, and a lot of the black comics, Flip and all of them included, even though Cosby was on the show, they knew he kind of looked down on them. But it wasn't, you can't look down on me, it's, it's, it's only if I go for that shit. Mm -hmm. But he was that brother. Uh, Red Fox said, um, the reason Bill Cosby got his start, uh, and this could be a dig on Cosby, he said because the dancing bad was sick. <laughs> and, and that's how Bill Cosby got a shot. Yeah. But my experience with Mr. Cosby, personally, Richard asked me to take a gift to, for a birthday. Mm -hmm. It was their, uh, no, anniversary. Mm -hmm. and it was a beautiful gift, and Richard got a private plane and asked me you know, to take it to, uh, Tahoe. So I flew up on a private plane, this huge box, mm -hmm. and I rang the doorbell. And I was expecting the servants to answer the door. This is for Mr. Cosby. I'm back on the plane. And um, Bill opened the door. Mr. Cosby opened the door. And I was on one knee because it meant that to me. Okay. This black man to this black man about these black people. So I was on one knee holding this huge box up from Richard Pryor to Mr. Cosby. Bill looked at me, and I could see in his eyes, he understood where I was coming from with it. He invited me into his home. 
They had the party going on. Teddy Pendergrass was out, whatever that album was. And the thing that I was impressed with, with all of these people in this huge home, was Camille and Bill Cosby. They kept eyes on each other, and they was across the room. And I was just standing back watching how they watched each other. In what regards? Like, this, love? That's my wife, love. Okay. And you could see it. And you could see it. Mm -hmm. And I knew in watching those two, this is what Flip wanted in his life. That would have made him solid. This is what Richie wanted in his life. That would have made him solid. Mm -hmm. This is what Eddie Murphy wants. Part of it is what we've been told as young people. And part of it is the truth. It'll make you solid. So I watched that. I just watched how they just kept eye contact through the entire time until I left. And I was really impressed with that. And I knew what Richard seen when he sent the gift to Bill Cosby. But I think what a lot of people don't understand is the pressure of the business. They really don't get it. Um, what they understand is you making this money, but they don't understand the pressure. And how can you if you're not in it? Mm -hmm. I, I just wanna lightly rewind because that is kind of um, uh, a big deal because what happened with Cosby is that he's been accused of all these different things. And and for you to reference to say that you're, she's your wife now, but at one point wasn't your wife and Cosby grabbed her. Right. How did you find well, She wasn't my wife when he grabbed her ass. Right, right. I don't, I, don't, I would assume. Now, uh, uh, no, she wasn't. And I would have stepped to Mr. Cosby. Fuck, fuck all of that. Right. And it happened again with Quentin Tarantino. Mm. And this is the, the nature of Hollywood. And I think I was married 15, 20 years deep. Mm. And my wife called me. Uh, he grabbed my who, who host? Calm down. Who grabbed you? First, he was telling me how pretty my titties are. Oh, are you showing him your titties? No. He's just looking at it. And then he wants to see him. And he tried, who the fuck are you talking about? Quentin Tarantino. Jackie Brown was the movie. Wow. And I said, what do you mean he's trying to grab your titties? Now, Robert Stevenson, who was a brother working on it, because he worked with Sam Jackson. And Tarantino was after my wife so hard, then my wife, not now. Okay. He was after her so hard that because she didn't respond, he kicked her in her ass. And when he kicked her in her ass, Sam Jackson came to a rescue. She called me crying. I said, what do you mean? Did your brother step to this or what's going on? And she said, Sam stopped him. Said, Sam who? Sam Jackson. Okay, I'm coming. I'm on my way. I'll be there. Give me a pass. I called my boy up. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. And I was going to... <laughs> Wait till you know, I've been on movie sets before, so I know how I go. We rolling. It's super quiet. And I told her, I said, here's what I'm going to do. When they start rolling, I'm going to kick him in his ass so fucking hard. I hope I can drive his tailbone up in his spine. I'm going to kick him with iron boots on. If he just take the ass kicking how I plan on kicking him and collapse, it's over. I'm going to say whatever I'm going to say to him. You're going to put your hand on him and, and it's over. If he... If this ass kicking doesn't work and he has some strength to fight and he has people around, and you know, I had a crew that's, we all gonna come in here together. We gonna handle that. And my wife said to me at that time, if you do that, <laughs> if you do that, I will put the police on you. So that's the nature of Hollywood, those jobs. This is my wife, 20 years in. You called me crying because of what this did to you. Sam Jackson came to your rescue. I'm coming to finish it. You say you put the police on me. So what I look at in terms of what's going on in Hollywood, one of the things that really stuck out is that it started with Harvey Weinstein and all the nonsense we've heard. Mm -hmm. But the only two black men that have went to jail is Bill Cosby and R. Kelly. Mm. 